What's up guys, Nepenthes here, and welcome to another episode of Pack Perfection. So, we are, what, one win in the last six games, which is tragic. We've been on a really bad streak. Can we get open another pack? Not very good in terms of players, but we do get a pretty damn sweet Formacion card. We get another 3-4-1-2 card, as you can see on the screen right now. Um, so that's going to be good for us. We're going to be able to apply that to one of our players and maybe get ourselves up into the mid-90s for chemistry. But the rest of the pack was pretty damn worthless. Uh, I'm getting low on coins now, guys. I haven't really got any coins anyway, but I'm I'm selling and discarding everything in the club right now. So in the next sort of episode or two, I'm going to have to transfer some more coins over. As you can see, I have applied the formation card. I applied it to the goalkeeper from Inter and put him in the team. Done a little bit of maneuvering around, and we've managed to get 95 chemistry, which is pretty damn awesome. I'll uh, just show you what the team's like when I change around the players. So the first game we come up against, guys, Guys, he's got a pretty decent 4-3-3 team. Michel Bastos and Ben Arthur on the wings with uh, Royce up front. Uh, he's got Gundogan and Kabai and... Uh, I can't remember the, the Brazilian guy's name from Bayern there. I can't remember his name. Mine, mine blank, mine blank. Uh, please correct me in the comments. Let me know what that guy's called. I do know what he's called, but put it in the comments anyways. Um... So, 55 minutes in, and Gundogan scores a goal, and I'm thinking, oh, God, here we go. It's going to be another one of those games. And in the 60th minute, look at this from Kabai. I mean, it's a nice finish, don't get me wrong, but how my player missed the tackle in the beginning, God only knows. Um, straight off the corner there as well, Santana with the header. He's got a great defense with David Luiz and Felipe Santana. And I go out 3-0 in this game. So that puts us back into the first round of the cup. Really, really disappointing. What I found, find quite strange is the the start of this series, the first sort of 15 to 20 games, I was coming up against people who had really bad teams, really bad chemistry, um, bronze players, silver players and stuff. Uh, but now, as you can see by this team, again, a 3-4-1-2 team there, I'm coming up against just really, really good teams all the time. And maybe not, like this team isn't crazy good. It's just quite good. But he's got, you know, perfect chemistry and a few really good players in there. And I'm coming up against these sort of teams all the time. And it's really, really frustrating. Like, I want a few easy games for a change. But it, it seems like the further I get into this account, the, uh, the, the harder the opponents. But I do level this game up, guys, to 1-1. A nice goal there from Francesco Totti, who's, like, been an absolute revelation for me here. And I get a really, really cheap goal against this guy. The goalkeeper goes to throw it out. Hits Totti on the foot. Totti, with his left foot from a really tight angle, slots it home to make it 2-1 to myself. Into the second... No, still in the first half. Look at the times of these goals, guys. 34 minutes. Goal. Miroslav Klosa. Uh, very, I can't. I don't know how he got the ball. Whatever, it, it's neither here nor there. 30, 36th minute now, and it's only just behind before the 35th minute. Another goal from Insigne, and it seems to be like every time I kicked off, he just got the ball back. And then two minutes later, again, 37th minute now for the 38th. Another cross, another header, three in a row. Miroslav Klose puts him 4-2 up uh, in the 80th minute. I did come back into the game. I was had chance after chance against this guy but I couldn't convert really really struggling to put my shots into the back of the net and look at this for a couple of chances here 89th minute DeMarcus Beasley plays it through to Pizarro who puts it into the youth the youth steps inside the defender here and rockets one the keeper manages to save the rebound doesn't fall to me that's goals that I score time and time again with that sort of chance it usually goes across the keeper in the back of the net this time though the keeper saved it and then in the 90th minute Totti here sends through the youth how has he saved that? Seriously. But he did save it and we lost the game 4-3. So that's another two losses in a row, guys. We're really struggling right now. AA9 Skills has got a great opportunity to push through and get the win in this series. Hopefully we can uh, come back and go on a nice little streak, though. But this is the end of the episode, guys. As always, thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Cheers.